Welcome back. Let's get started. Firstly, we have some pre-seasoned chicken thigh and leg and the green seasoning would be in the cards above. So out of the five ingredients, we have our bay leaf and then I'm going to use some clove and some cinnamon and the other two ingredients would be the chicken and the Cajun rub. That recipe is also on my channel and will be at the end screen. So once I put my chicken to steam and once it has cooked and we want to cook this chicken, we're going to use that broth to make our Cajun barbecue sauce. So we're not going to do anything with that broth. But before we continue... <laughs> Now I'm adding some of my Cajun seasoning to the bottom and then I'm going to place the chicken and then I'm also going to sprinkle some more of that sauce on top of it. So now I am going to coat the chicken with this dry rub and then I'm going to put it on the grill and we're going to grill it. Remember the chicken is already cooked so you're not trying to cook it but to just try to grill it and get those beautiful charred marks on the chicken and let all of the seasoning get into the skin and into the meat. So come on, let's do it. Quickly, let me also mention, you could make this into a barbecue sauce and you could just add some tomato ketchup, some mustard and some barbecue sauce and some of this rub put it on the fire and let it boil. If you don't have time and you, you, you don't want to let it cook a little bit, you could just mix everything together and make a barbecue sauce. So you could add the rub and once the rub is added, you put it on the grill, let it dry up a little, then you add some of that barbecue sauce that I just mentioned and just to finish it off so it have that nice sticky, sweetish kind of barbecue taste. So you could use this rub to make a sauce after you rub down the chicken so you would have a real flavorful chicken when you're done. So that's also an option, but today I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to make a, a barbecue sauce with it. I just want to do it dry and enjoy the chicken that way. And in a future recipe, we will do the barbecue sauce. All right, so let's continue. So now I'm going to preheat my tabletop grill to the highest setting and once it has heated properly I am going to spray it with some non-stick spray make sure that is coated properly and I'm going to add my perfectly coated with my Cajun rub chicken onto my very heated grill and I'm just going to grill this for it to become a little dry and the skin real crunchy and nice but remember this chicken is already cooked. So this is what the chicken looks like. You can see how much it has dried up. And I'm gonna just let it grill for a little more. It is hot, but it has little grill marks right here. Um, but I want it to get a little more dry, at least until the skin is crunchy on each side, because that is what I want. So we're gonna leave this. It is on the grill here for five minutes this far. But just remember that the chicken is already cooked, so just keep monitoring it. As I previously mentioned that the chicken was already cooked, so you want to be monitoring and not leaving it there to burn because remember you don't want to cook this anymore, you just more or less want a nice crispy chicken, skin and meat. So that is how I want it and as much smoke as I could get to get into the meat with all of that wonderful flavor from our Cajun rub and the longer it stay on the grill the more infused the meat will get with that rub so you won't be disappointed so at this point it was really dried out and I was finished and this is what the end result looked like look how dry and crispy my chicken turned out it was really flavorful from all of the spices and flavoring from my Cajun rub you can always give that recipe a try the link is in the cards above 
and at the end screen thanks so much for your constant support and I do hope you give this really easy recipe a try the following recipe that's coming would be the Cajun barbecue sauce and after that barbecue sauce we're going to use that barbecue sauce to make a Cajun barbecue chicken so look out for all those recipes